Notre Dame, 35. Clemson, 14. Now, I had this on the other television, and we're going to pull up the uh, the stats on this. But, man, uh, <laughs> this was nuts. This was absolutely nuts. Um Marcus Freeman and Brian Kelly both getting the biggest wins of their career on the same night is absolutely hysterical. Like, this is this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Clemson ran 65 plays. They had two turnovers, of course, uh, pick six, et cetera. Notre Dame was not great offensively. They had more total yards, 350-307. But Notre Dame with two defensive touchdowns, of course, they had the punt block, and, you know, it, it was just everything went right for Notre Dame in this ballgame. And when Notre Dame is on script, they can be really, really good because that defense does know how to shut people down, especially an average offense. And that's what you got here with Clemson is an average offense. The coaching staff for Clemson, again, we talked about this earlier in the year. This is not a great offense. This is not a very experienced offensive staff either. Uh, and I believe Bud Elliott talked about how funny it would be. Uh, no, no, maybe it wasn't, but it was Tom Fornelli talking about if Jeff Scott were to be fired as the uh, South Florida offensive coordinator, if he were to then go back to being the offensive coordinator uh, for Clemson, right? If he was fired as the head coach at South Florida and went back to Clemson as the offensive coordinator, would that change anything? And I don't necessarily know that it would because football evolves. Football changes. And... Notre Dame, of course, wanted to change. They wanted something better. They wanted all these different things. So, yeah, it's. I look at it, and I think that this game for Clemson was just inevitable. I did find it funny that, of course, last week, Dabo Sweeney talked about the fact that Cade Klubnick uh, came in and, and provided a spark, but DJ is the guy. And then, of course, this happens, and they go to Cade, Fairly quickly. Okay. Uh, I mean, what what happened? Uh, what, what did we miss? What are we what are we looking at on this? Uh, because I would have absolutely believed that they would have stuck with DJ in this, and because it wasn't necessarily his fault early that Notre Dame had such success. But once you saw that he was not able to get it done, yeah, they absolutely moved away from it, and that is the way that it goes. So I, I look at this, uh, you, you can see the uh, the win probability on the screen here. Uh, you see the expected points. I mean, it, Notre Dame just had a monster game. Uh, of course, purple is bad, green is good. Notre Dame had a lot of green, and Clemson did not. Uh, this, was, this was bound to happen eventually. And while it's great for Notre Dame, this is still a team that lost at home to Marshall and to Stanford. And we have seen how bad those teams are. Uh, if the game gets off script, Notre Dame is not good. Last night, the game would stay on script for them. It worked out perfectly early, and they were able to hold on to it. And uh, and Clemson pressed. You know, uh, you, you look at the rushing yards here, they were able to absolutely push Clemson around on defense. They had four rushers uh, that ran 47 times for 263 yards. Uh, most of that was Diggs and uh, Esteem. I, I still don't know how to say his name because I've always got the game on mute. But regardless... This team averaged 5.6 yards per rush. That's awesome. And Clemson got behind so early, they only ran the ball 25 times for 90 yards. It was 3.6 yards per rush. Will Shibley was okay, but he only ran the ball 12 times for 63 yards. Like, if you've got DJU in a spot where he is having to throw the ball 39 times, you're in in trouble. You're absolutely in trouble. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.